what's up y'all it's your girl kamani don't forget to like comment and subscribe so i'm getting at jt you used to be sound bad but now a bitch okay so for my ladies for my gentlemen because this goes for both sides baby you have really elevated and you have really grown in life um you stayed down um just putting in the work, hustling. Um, you know, you kept you kept your foot on their necks. You know what I'm saying? You kept grinding. You just kept putting in that work. And now you can look back now and see yourself um, just where you're at, how much you've grown, how much you've obtained, how much you've learned, um, and just how wise you are. A lot of people counted you out. A lot of people did not believe in you. A lot of people did not see your worth. They did not see your growth. They did not see you for who you were because why? God hid who you were because you was around a lot of wolves and sheep clothing. You are around a lot of liars and users and manipulators and abusers. So God hid who you were from them because he did not want them to use you and abuse you and try to manipulate you because you was always a diamond in the rough okay and that's where they messed up at they slept on you see let me tell you something where i'm at now in my life and i can be a testimony to that no matter how big or how small your accomplishments you celebrate it all because see when you appreciate the small things in life god will bless you with the bigger things in life and more abundantly okay so even where i'm at in my life now i am much farther in my life now than where i was back then i am not in the same space i am not in the same place that i was back then the me now is a different me the me now is a better me the me now is a better version <laughs> you understand um people that didn't believe in you, people that slept on you, people that did not see you for who you were are now sitting around and regretting. And see, let me tell you something about growth and let me tell you something about elevation. See, if you're not involving and you're not elevating in life, then what are you doing? Because life is all about elevation and growth. If you're not doing that, you ain't doing nothing. Because trust and believe me, you're not the same person in your 20s that you are in your 30s. You're not the same person in your 30s that you are in your 40s and so forth and so forth. You're not the same person in your 40s that you were in your 30s. You know what I'm saying? You're not the same person in your 50s that you were in your 40s. You know what I'm saying? With age comes wisdom and with age comes experience. Because when you live long enough, you experience a lot of things in life. See, understand that it's not age that necessarily makes us wise, but it's experiences that we go through that makes us wise. So I'm wise enough now to know better about a lot of things. Even though I'm still young because my experiences, you understand? Um, when you are in a better place in life, they're still going to try to throw dirt in your name. They're still going to try to much you. They're still going to try to make you seem like you're nothing, like you some mud or you some, or you just some slut or you just some bomb or whatever, whatever. They're going to still try to throw dirt in your name because the thing about people that are used to seeing you at the bottom, it's hard for them to see you at the top. It's hard for them to see you rising because they're not used to that person. They're used to the broke you. They're, they're used to the needy you. They're used to the begging you or need them you. They're used to that you. Because you didn't have it or you was down at that time. They're not used to the person that you are now. So they can't handle that. You understand? And some of you guys, you had to put up with a lot of shit. And you had to take a lot of shit. <laughs> Until you got in position. See, sometimes we got to bite our tongue and sometimes we got to we gotta take some things in order to gain some things. You understand me? You got to know how to play your cards. You understand? And when people feel like you have, when people feel like you have came into some sort of new abundance or you have elevated, that's when a lot of things from your past begin to pop up. That's when people from your past begin to show up. People try, you know, old things that happened back then, people come trying to collect and take things from you because of what they feel like you have now. Because they see that you have elevated and they see you're in a better position. And a lot of times people still may be talking about things about you that was that is old news, that, that ain't even your situation. I'm able to sit here today and be in my own place. Not live with mama, not live with daddy, not live with grandma, not live with auntie, live by on live on my own. I pay the bills to be the boss. I pay the cost to be the boss, you understand? <laughs> not 
having to deal with anybody bullcrap. Not having to put up with anybody mouth or hear anybody nag or hear, I'm not, I don't have to do that. That's what happens when you stay down. When you stay down and you grind. I used to be down bad back then. <laughs> I used to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Back then. You know what I'm saying? Back then. Like Mike Jones, back then. You know what I'm I used to be fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I wasn't, I wasn't where I was, you know, um, I wasn't where I was now that I was back then. And understand, you don't have to be a millionaire to be comfortable. Understand that. I'm in a, I'm in a place in my life, I'm in a season in my life where I'm comfortable. You know what I'm saying? Um, a, a lot of people have to stay with other people and stay with individuals to survive. I can survive on my own. I can pay my own bills. I can, I can, I can live on my own without having to live bunched up with a bunch of people. Because God has elevated me to that position. You know what I'm saying? I do fine just by myself. The car that I have is almost paid off. You see what I'm saying? So um, there, there's a lot of things that I, you know, you got to be able to acknowledge the things that God is doing in your life. There's a lot of things that I see God is doing in my life. And I thank him. Because it may seem like something so small, but it ain't really small. When you start putting the whole puzzle and the whole picture together, it's like, ah, oh, I see what you're doing. I see what God is doing. I see the places you're taking me and how you're, okay. And you got to learn how to um, just keep a lot of things to yourself. Because the enemy is always listening. The enemy is always lurking. The enemy wants to destroy what you have going on. The enemy wants to try to figure out a way to take you down. You understand? So you're in a season where you used to be down bad. But now you okay. And they mad about it. They mad about it. Because you don't have to hold your hand out begging them for nothing. You make a way for yourself. You make a way on your own. Because you're wiser now. You know how to budget your money. You know how to maintain your money. You know how to invest your money. You know what I'm saying? So keep thriving. And keep shining. And keep growing. I love you guys. Until next time.